The mini ones are so cute. Oh my god. The thing is, I just want them all to have a little bit. So maybe I'll just do like that and they can all just. No, I'll let them eat out your hand. No, I will in a minute. Look at the baby ones. Look at the baby ones. Hello, little fellow. Oh, no, what? big boy, you're not stealing all of that ones off my little friend on his hind leg. You go away now. And look at the little, they're there so you go, little boy. Oh, yeah, they take it from you so nicely, don't they? These little baby ones are just the cutest eggs. You've got a whole little gang over there, I've don't you? I've got such a little gang. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Okunoshima Island, which is more commonly known as Rabbit Island. I don't think we need to explain why it's called Rabbit Island, as you can probably tell already. We've been here about five minutes and we're already... Covered. Covered in rabbits. What a great day this is <laughs> going to be. So you're probably wondering how these rabbits came to be here. And it's actually quite a dark story. So in 1929, the Japanese Imperial Army chose this island to start secretly manufacturing poisonous gas. The rabbits were brought to the island to test the effectiveness of this gas. And when uh, Japan surrendered to America in 1944 at the end of World War II, the rabbits basically were released by workers onto the island. And up until that point, it was top secret what was going on here. Japan didn't want anyone else to know that they were working on this poisonous gas. So the island was struck off all Japanese maps and the workers were completely sworn to secrecy. And that's how it came to be, Rabbit Island. And these are my favourite ones, they're so tiny. Oh, they're so cute. I think these are the smallest ones we've seen yeah, so they far. Are. This is where poison gas was stored. In like this bunker type thing, because it's so corrosive, you've got to basically surround it with concrete or it fucks you up. Hello, rabbit. We're using our good old handy Google Lens translation app. Yeah, because obviously there's no signs in English anywhere, all on like food menus, etc. So look how genius this is. Northern Battery Ruins. Oh, look. Yeah, look. Mm, Can you see it? I think so. Oh, it's like magic. Let me just Feeling consult magic. my map. Eddie the Explorer. Eddie explores. Up the hill to the cannon first. Eddie explores in action. Ah, cannon! God. It's like a child on this trip, aren't you? I like rabbits. Right, you lot are just getting it thrown because I just, are you, I'm a bit scared of you lot. Oh God. It's dodgy around this end of the island, isn't it? It is, look at this. Oh God, These I'm lot just... are licked off poisonous gas. And the gas that was manufactured here was mainly used in the Japan-China war. And they killed 80,000 Chinese with it. Here's the old remains of another poison gas storage site. Which is, yeah, just rubble now. A bit of barbed wire. Northern Cannon. See, I don't even need the app to translate this sign. Wow. What's it like? Pretty empty. Vibes. I think because there's like hardly anyone here as well. Like yeah. I presume in peak season it's a lot busier, but yeah, it's just like, like an it's just like us walking yeah. around like a few Japanese people. It's strange. And um, yeah. When you think what used to happen here. Dun dun dun. Oh, this is such a cute one. He's like Dino rabbit though. He is. That's White socks. Eddie's a cat. My old cat. This rabbit food as well, you buy it. Special rabbit food that you buy at the port. If you come here and like feed them your own food, like weird stuff, it's, it's not good for them. So you should, if you're coming here, you make sure to buy the proper rabbit food. The rabbits love it, don't they? Ed, make it go up on its high horses. Don't they, big ears? Go on. Go on, you can do it. There you go. Oh, he's, he's, he's got his he's... claw in me a bit there. And again. He's having a nice time. Whoa! Oh, the battery. The battery. Battery. The remains of the northern battery of the Okonojima Fort, which was built in 1902 before the Russo-Japanese War broke out. 
Batteries were established. Blah, blah, blah. It's basically where they had a load of cannon for defending the island. Three Twenty-two loads. cannons. So if that was in 1902, basically they had a fort here before it was already being used for like military stuff before yeah. they started um the poison gas manufacturing. Very creepy now. This goddamn hanging spider web oh. of leaves and flies. I might have to walk into one. As far as we haven't yet. This is hard work. We made it. Any rabbits up here? The rabbits, can't, the rabbits can't be arsed to climb up that staircase, that's why. So they're not even greeting us here, that would make it better. Yeah, everything's better when there are rabbits around. Are you translating that? Yeah, I'm, I still want to find the old power plant. So we're not leaving the island until we found every single thing on the map. Oh god. I don't know, this path's a bit rogue, isn't it? Wow. Look at the size of this spider web. Ed, Look at this. I don't like it here anymore. Can we just go? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, this. Ed's. This way down. Ed's. This way down is not quite as uh, well done. It's very overgrown. I really don't like it up here. Don't know what this is. Probably another, the, or the top of like another poisonous gas storage facility. They made it to the hotel, which is basically the only place you can eat. Uh, yeah, only like anything on this island is an old ruin. Let's try and get some food in there. Just as we we're about to enter the hotel, we found the first albino albino rabbit of the day. I'm trying to steal this guy's food. Look at him. You're albino, aren't you? Don't have much melanin, do you? It is weird in here. It's um, like it's made for thousands of people, there's no one in here. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit odd. They're selling rabbit. Rabbit bread and beef stew. Surely it's not got rabbit in it. Oh, it's weird. I'm having curry rice, but I wanted the curry... I'm getting number three. 6.50, number seven. Yeah. And then basically we have the tickets and then you just go bring them to this lady, I think. Yeah. Sure <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh no. Yeah, order number is 47 and 48. Order number. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. arigato. Order number 4748. I mean, I don't think we'll get mixed up. It's like The Shining in here There's or something. There's no one else here. The rabbits are coming to kill us all. Why? Mine appears just to be curry. Oh, mine looks good. <laughs> Who ordered better, me or Tilly? <laughs> Tilly has rice and katsu sauce. Yeah, I'll take chopsticks. And I've got tempura octopus with these weird pink crab things that oh, are a bit the, strange to be that's honest. That's the fish paste thing. And then, uh, oh yeah, that's not crab, is it? It's just like mashed up it's fish. It's mashed up fish. And then uh, udon noodles. Good. What's it like? Mm. Pretty good. Is it? Anything that's tempura just tastes good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the thing, <laughs> deep fried stuff. Uh, it could well be a prawn, to be honest, but... Really? Yeah, I'll take it. i got some seaweed in there as well. This is like your meal of night. <laughs> out of the forest and then you have to eat this. During the plant's existence, many people died as a result of effects or after effects of manufacturing the gas. Two. Two. Oh. Oh, it's automated. Oh, this one. The next person is free. What? No, I was trying to make a joke. Hi. Oh. Hey, okay, English. Ah. Hey, Thirteen-hour day and night shifts. That is long. 
And no one really understood poison gas back then, so they basically just had to wear these suits, and that's why lots of them died of the after effects. And military culture, especially in Japan, meant that complaining or discussing these conditions was, yeah, it just didn't happen basically. The fully protective gear allowed gas to seep in through the cracks. Many died from tuberculosis like symptoms. And yeah, the making of the gas was actually banned in 1899. That's why they had to do it all in secret. And this island was selected because it was far from Tokyo in case of a disaster. This is how they use the gas. Room two of the museum, which has a giant horse in the corner. And some really horrific images on my right, which I'm not going to show you. Of the effects of the gas on children. What the hell? It's awful. Oh my god. Arigato. Arigato. Tripped over quite badly. I knew you didn't see that stuff. That was another pretty miserable Japanese war museum. So um, I guess, you know, with this topic, it's, it's not exactly going to be. It's not exactly going to be uplifting in there, um, but at least it's it was so short, graphic. a lot shorter than the Hiroshima uh, nuclear bomb museum. Here's some more gas drain parts. Let's go look at the rabbits. Yeah, let's get some nice rabbits. Let's feed some more rabbits. This is crazy juxtaposition on this island of nice rabbits and then haunting, eerie, deaf gas places. Tilly's a rabbit now. It kind of looks like a torture device. Even the things they're trying to make into like nice rabbit stuff looks like it's like a like a head clamp or something. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh my god, this is a air raid bunker for military chiefs on the island during the war. God, so this goes down into like a tunnel, which obviously oh you guys are hiding if you were getting uh, bombed. How much you have to be paid to spend a night in there? Oh, no. Tenner? This is Tilly's new protection for the, I, the poison gas. I literally don't know what I've done. I don't... There you go, you crackhead. Oh, he's like touching me. Look at him. She is peeling a carrot. Here, look, here, what is happening with the water here? They're just like really strong currents. It's like choppy, huh? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of scary. If anyone knows what that's about, let us know. I feel not like it here anymore. I, I don't not like it. I find it very creepy. The sea's just added a hole. Look at it up here. Eddie. She now thinks there's a bloody tsunami incoming. Which there could be, to be fair. We've saved the best till last by the looks of it. This is the power plant that used to run the entire island, providing electricity for it. Echo! Oh, God! Wow. Didn't have these generators in there back in the day. would uh, power their dodgy schemes. <laughs> We're gonna get stuck on Rabbit Island forever. Arigato. And we're out of there. made it back to the mainland the adventure to rabbit island is over um i like the rabbits a lot the rest of the stuff was yeah a bit creepy mainly because i was expecting there to be a lot more tourists there um, yeah very isolated yeah but the history was super interesting it was kind of 
Yeah, very unique place. The, yeah, atmospheric. Not, not, I haven't really done anything like that yet in Japan. Um, Definitely worth a visit. It's in a bit of an odd area. It's not the classic tourist kind of route if you're here on holiday. But yeah, I would it's a, it's a bit highly the, recommend it. It's a bit off the beaten track. You can probably get there pretty easy, easy from Hiroshima. Hiroshima, especially if you have a car like we do, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. Good, good luck to the rabbits. Took over the island. They got the last laugh. Shout out the rabbits. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like everyone. if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. See you on the next one.